is Heyman, excuse me, with another tray, and it's 18 to four. It is a 9-0 run by the Broncos, and they lead it by 14. They're shooting 70%. Seven of 10. Heyman with a couple of trays. He came in shooting 23% from outside the arc. He's two of two. Right side, Quentin Rollins with the ball out top to Eustace. Thought about pulling the trigger. And it comes around to Felder's screen to the left side, slipping the screen. Felder in the paint. going to turn, fire with the right hand, and gets fouled. They get it to Richie. He'll lob it and nearly throws it away as Brown has to save it. Stolen away by Sullivan. Underneath it goes. Felder misses the dunk and gets the foul, though, on Richie, who undercut him. On the block, and Western Michigan did a really nice job of getting the ball back out high, and then Whittington getting behind Will Sullivan. And there mismatch. was a switch defensively in there yeah. that accounted for that mismatch. There's a cut inside to Felder. He'll fade away from five feet and gets his first field goal. Is by Giovanni McKnight. Giovanni's only his fourth point, but Miami now within five at 32. Thought away. 37, and the Broncos turn it over. Felder to Giovanni McKnight. Fakes, feeds Felder. He'll put it off the glass and score. Eight for Felder. Out front, dribbles to the top of the key and through the right side. Hits Brown in the right corner. Wide open look for three is short, and the rebound goes to Giovanni McKnight. That numbers. Miami has numbers as they throw it to Sullivan in the right corner. He's going to penetrate. There's Felder, and a reach-in foul is called on Tavy. Tavy on two. Rollins down the paint. He'll put it up with a right hand. Miss it. Rebound. Grabbed by Felder. He'll lay it up and in. Will Felder with 11 in the game. And line was all over. Rollins trying to set the screen and moving with him. Rollins high on the right side with it for Miami. Throws it to McKnight in the right corner. Down low to Felder on the block. Backing in on Whittington. Faking. Firing off the glass. Draws the foul and will go to the free throw line. Whittington pulls up shy of the timeline. They get it across the timeline with Clyde, and again, here comes the trap, and stolen away, McKnight gives it down to Felder, lays it down with the right hand. The dunk by... Three-point game, 56-53, as Miami with a basketball trailing, 6.25 to go. Rollins across the timeline, works with it. Throws it high on the right side to Bill Edwards. Will Sullivan in the game for Miami as Rollins takes it back out near the timeline, 22 to shoot for Miami. Edwards at the right wing, holds the basketball. And now again, gives it to Rollins, 15 seconds for Miami to shoot. To Edwards, high on the right side, gives it out to Felder. Missed the backdoor cut to Rollins, gives it to Moore. Six seconds to shoot, Moore. Bounce pass down low to Felder, working on Whittington. Fade away jumper, it's good for Will Felder. Steps in the passing lane. A minute and a half to go, Miami's got to go to work down by four. Rollins top of the key, bounces it down low to Felder. He's going to rip his way in, go up and under with a left hand and score.
So Carter did not throw a good pass, but Caddy's showing those good hands off and good footwork. So Caddy with the last five, it's 11 to four UMass. They are on an 11-0 run after the sloppy start. 14-15 remaining in the half. Tim, you mentioned that Miami went into its bench. Freshman from Australia, Jared Eustace checked in, along with John Hawkins, the seven-footer. Hawkins has the ball out about 25 feet from the hoop. Caddy LaLanne plays off of him. Hawkins pass to Felder. Felder with a jump hook in the lane and a drop. Minutemen lead 16 to eight. They are on a 16 to four run. Chaz Williams now with six. 11-15 to go in the half. That foul against Santee was just the second in the half against the Minutemen. Jared Eustace, the freshman from Australia, to the leading scorer. That's Felder and a fadeaway for Will Felder is good. A little bit of a quick three from Samson Carter. That is kind of his sweet spot, that left wing, but I'd like to see UMass continue to kind of pound the ball inside where they definitely have an advantage with you know, either Lelane, Maxi Esho, or Samson Carter inside. Minutemen lead 23-19. Giovanni McKnight for Miami, Ohio, the Red Hawks in the visiting red. UMass in the white. Minutemen coming in 11-1, Miami 4-6 on the year. Eustace from Australia, kick to his fellow Aussie, Joshua Oswald. In fact, those two have all seven during the current 7-2 run. A step back by Felder, one of the Americans. Beautiful pass by Williams and a three, his second of the half. 28-23 UMass. Back comes Rollins and he resets at the top with Felder. And Miami will now look to milk some clock as we approach four minutes to go. How about that pass by Chaz Williams? Yeah, really got in the lane so quickly. He drew so much attention. He had options on that cross-court pass, found his best one. Putney on the left wing, he knocks it down, his second one of the game. Under four minutes to go in the half, 10 on the shot clock again. Miami, Felder, pump fake. Shot, no good, but a foul. Caddy Lelane, air ball that time. Rebound saved by Lelane, but grabbed by Felder. Miami has it. Shot clock and game clocks virtually identical, so the Red Hawks could hold for one if they so choose. And they will. They're gonna take this thing down now with 23 on the clock, trying to get the last one of the half. See if Miami can make this a four and or a three point deficit going into halftime against heavily favored UMass. Game clock down to 10 seconds as Quinton Rollins, the senior point guard, dribbles between his legs at midcourt. When's he gonna go? We're at five. Now Rollins makes his move and got a screen. Rollins pass underneath, wide open. Felder lays it in. Right at and now McKnight lost it trying to go up. Steal by Lalane, but Caddy's outlet pass stolen right back down the court by Will Sullivan. He was looking for Derek Gordon on the run out. And now a nice pass by Quinley, but 14 turnovers now against UMass. Yeah, that's that's a kind of a danger zone. If UMass gets into that 20 range, that's, that doesn't uh, bell, bode well for the Miniman down the stretch. Miami beats the UMass press. Into the front court, Giovanni McKnight. One of three Red Hawks in double figures. McKnight with 11. Will Felder, their big man, leads the team with 12. 10 points for Joshua Oswald. And now the point guard Rollins has it underneath for Felder. Got open and he banks it in. Great line. Here comes the inbound by Willie Moore. Got it in for Felder. And now Oswald finds the point guard Rollins at the top. Giovanni McKnight on the catch. And now Felder passes it back for Rollins. He's the playmaker. Shot clock under 20. Game clock under three minutes. Nice pass. Pick and roll to Felder again for Rollins. UMass going to back off the full court pressure, just pick up in the half court. Minute men, the last five points in the game. Here's a deep jumper for two by Felder that's good. Second most in the nation. 71-61, minute men, floater by Rollins, no good, but it's tipped up and in by Felder. Davis, who got trapped in the backcourt and turned it over. Steal by Rollins to Eustace, three-pointer no good. Rebound Felder again, put back good again.
flips it right back over to Miami. And on the ruse, that's their third turnover. Down low, and that one's easy for Felder. His Roos have eight threes, and this is the most in the game this season from the three line. After that last three hit by Trinity Hall. And look at Harrison all over him in the backcourt. I mean, he will lurk around you, come up with a steal. And in fact, Harrison is the top steal guy in the whack with 18 steals on the season coming in. On the deck, they nearly got that one. Fred Chapman, here's Sullivan. They go back door, cut to Johnson, blocked by Chapman. Felder collects and scores, though. KC has played. It's going to prepare them very well for conference play. They played some tough teams in this non-conference season this year. Felder on the little baby hook. A 6'10 freshman from Harrisonville, Missouri. And you can see right there, UMKC doing a great job of scoring after they get turnovers. 26 points have come.
second time and a pretty good answer Tom if Miami's gonna have it have control on offense and be disciplined they'll get the shots they want they just can't try to attack too early in the clock in the set court so Miami team under their second year head coach John Cooper that's really revamping their entire style of play after all those years playing under the late great Charlie Coles here in Miami and you'll notice they have his initials, Charlie Coles, on their jerseys this entire year and from last year. You know, anytime you're a new coach taking over, there's going to be a lot of adversity to face. Guys coming in, guys leaving, people unhappy. John's got his hands full right now. now they'll go into some sort of high screen, and he's not even going to use that screen. Got a good shot, didn't use the screen. The other way. And a foul defensively to put it up as a shot clock dwindles down and it's too strong but coming away with the basketball Miami and the easy lay-in. That just drives him crazy when you don't seal off the shooter. And John Cooper, the coach for Miami, he just looks <laughs> not happy over there on the sideline. Pick and slip driving into the lane and knowing that he Herb really trying to develop chemistry between these guys and, and let them get some some confidence heading into their big games and they've got a much better schedule this year. They did? Yeah.